Objective accomplished. Incoming intelligence report. Commander, we have located the site of the missile launches. This silo was part of the NASDA ground-based system. Our scouting of the area indicates that one or more nuclear missiles are present at the site. Preparations for another launch appear to be underway. We are currently under attack by Nexus cyborgs and are unable to assist. We are transmitting coordinates of an LZ near the missile silos. Coordinate download completed. So, Gamma Eric, I was told back in Beta 10 that you would find and prevent future launches. And now all you can do is give me coordinates. When we finally rendezvous, you got some spleening to do. Secure the LZ. Then head overland to destroy the missile silo before it can launch another missile. Good luck, Commander. Mission timer activated. Our force is ready from last stage, so load up. Hmm, I appear to be able to hear myself typing. That's odd. I blame Nexus. Regardless, let it be known that my strategy for not just this, but the next four stages is very unusual compared to most people. I highly recommend making a hard save before lifting off. If you don't want to follow my strategy, that's cool, but prior to Gamma 2's liftoff is the last chance you'll have to change it until Gamma 6. We won't be quite as hard-pressed this stage as we were last, thankfully. Upon landing, clear out the nearby squirrel houses, set up a repair bay, and call in an MBG reinforcement group. You know, like most stages. A small attack force approaches from the valley leading northeast, but that one small group is the only press you'll get from this side. Clear it out first, and then your only opposition will be from the west. Your starting force should be enough to push out and take down several early structures. Both the north and the south of this hilly area will have a couple Morse code cannons, a clown missile, and more importantly, a sensor. The southern group also has a CB, and the northern group has a few hover paper towels backing it up. And of course, we'll be preparing not just for what we can see, but also what we can't, because you're watching a semi-spoiler video series. In other news, this appears to be the first stage ever where the map isn't a square, doesn't it? Construction completed. Unit under attack. 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 The emplacement with a green laser pointer on it is another new Nexus weapon. It's incredibly potent if we were using cyborgs. But we aren't, so it isn't. Hooray! Again with the steam notification? Not now. Nuclear numbskull needs nullification. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Those enemy artillery shots seem to be coming from off map, aren't they? Hmm. 
With the first two small defensive areas cleared, the entire eastern half of this map will be mostly safe to us, allowing us to prepare at a comfortable pace. Now we can begin to set up some MLRS to deal with our first, and spoiler alert, last, ever off-map artillery barrage. Despite us not being able to move there directly, the CB tower can still pick up the enemy batteries and allow our MLRS to return fire at them. Construction completed. Reinforcement landing. Construction completed. Unit under attack. This small group of hover brawnies is the last land unit we will face from any direction that isn't due west. Take them out and the riverbank is ours. Except for an MG bunker. Why is Nexus using an MG bunker? And not even an assault gun, just a basic MG bunker. This doesn't seem like them. Under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Construction completed. Assigned to commander. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Grab the rest of your MBG and some spare trucks with your next load, Unit then push attack. west when you feel confident. Don't hesitate to turn around though. All these mini hills make pathing difficult, and we don't want to skirmish our way into lost units due to getting stuck. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. 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 Construction completed. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. 
This base isn't easy to breach per se, but it doesn't have nearly as much power backing it up as the southwest base did last stage. Just keep up a push-retreat motion to keep fresh units in front. Your goal is to get the three factories, which will stop all future land units. Sort of. Assigned to Commander. With the base castrated, start setting up structures along the riverbank, including a couple sensor towers as far north as you're allowed to build them, including tucked into the valley just north of your LZ. If the MLRS at your base haven't already done so, this should trigger the artillery exchange that wraps up Nexus's off-map barrage. Also, call in your artillery squad. They won't have too much to do by this point, but that's not why I want them here. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Reinforcements landing. Group 
Comp 2 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Missile launch in 60 minutes. Oh, Gamma Eric is taking over the timer reminding duties from Christine now? Why, is she taking a day off? There are actually two more vehicles that can attack us right now, but they are off-map north where the road disappears into the blackness. For some really odd reason, they can be shot at if seen, but getting something to spot them is way more difficult than it should be. Specifically, units can't spot them, it has to be a structure with direct line of sight. Hence, the assault gun bunkers I'm dropping at the map edge. I'm trying to visually spot the two hover clowns. There are four silos and one radar dish here. The stage will, uh, we'll say end once all five of those structures are down. A note to those watching, I'm not going to do it in this video, but this is the only stage, I think, where letting the stage's timer run down for money actually works. Normally, when a stage ends, the remaining time gets multiplied by your power income and added to your total, but this stage isn't going to end like most stages. Yep, there's that hover missile I was trying to spot. Let's see if I can't bait those shots with someone else while I set up a spot bunker. Group 1 reporting. I'm now going to fly in every single last land unit I have back at base. Yes, this is intentional. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Hover clowns down. Group 
one reporting. I'm going to wait just long enough for the football to drop off the trucks before nailing the rest of the missile base. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Actually, let me fly in four of the UAVs as well. Once they get here, I'll make a hard save and proceed with the objective. Sure is nice to have an exact countdown, isn't it?
Group 2, reporting. Missile launch in 50 minutes. Thanks, Eric. In real life, the long lead time to launching a missile was because, in addition to safety measures, they had to fuel it up first. Not really sure that should apply here, you figured Nexus could have been doing that the same time he was busy nuking David of Alpha, but... Reinforcements landing. Anyway, boom. Construction completed. Enemy base eradicated. Missile launch aborted. Mission timer. Incoming intelligence report. Well done, Commander. You've prevented my last missile from launching. Such a shame. Your Project HQ would have made a wonderful target. But it's good of you to join me here. Buried beneath this silo is a tactical nuclear warhead that is set to go off soon. As I cannot launch it, it'll just have to blow where it is. Please note that all entrances to the underground complex have been sealed. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Airlift by transport is not possible. You will have to head overland. Analysis shows that the mountain range to the east would shield you from the blast. All units must escape the area before the warhead detonates. This valley is your only chance of escape. Uh, you feeling alright, Christine? Group 1, reporting. Maybe you should let Gamma Eric stick with the voiceovers for a bit. So now we know how David of Alpha felt. A nuke is here, and we can't fly out. We can, however, apparently save ourselves by driving into a valley no more than a quarter mile away. I don't know if this was intentional or accidental by the writers, but this actually makes sense. Nexus says this. A tactical nuclear warhead. While that sounds scary, tactical nukes are actually the smallest ones. You can actually find videos on YouTube of soldiers standing a mere mile from a nuclear blast and surviving mostly unscathed. Granted, they were in trenches and the tests were before we understood radiation, but still. So Nexus detonating a nuke with a one-mile blast radius, and in a shield underground silo, can, in theory, definitely be survived by just putting a bit of mountainside between you and it. I mean, I don't want to test this personally, but as far as fictional narratives go, it's certainly plausible. But that's the good news. The bad news is, while we took out their artillery earlier, Nexus still has some land defenses guarding the valleys, mostly missiles. The timer has also been dropped to a half hour. But those are the least of our concerns. The big ticket dealio with this stage is, we need to get out by evacuating over land, but this isn't a highway back to base. Any and all units currently in this stage will not return to base after the stage ends. We are going to be left with only what is in our base for the next few stages. You'll see how I deal with Gamma 3 and on when the videos come out, but this was an intentional decision by me. And once Gamma 5 hits, you'll find out why. This is why I had you make the save before lifting off here. In case you don't want to lose these units for a while, you can reload that save and do this stage however you want. Right now, though, is not the time to worry about Gamma 5. We need to get away from an impending mushroom cloud. I'm going to send my force north, where there are some defenses we have absolutely no need to kill, but what the heck. The fast bobs I will have set up two sensor towers that will get used in just a couple minutes. A small force rushes out of the South Valley entrance, but the various artillery and spotting we had set up earlier should smash them. Unit under attack. This area is nice and wide open, so none of our forces should have trouble retreating during the removal of the northern structures. Under attack. Unit under attack. 
Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Group three reporting. With most of it down, I can do two things. First, grab the UAVs and kick off a fireworks display. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 3 reporting. And second, bring the McSpottoms around to get a target on the one enemy clown missile that can fire at us constantly, but is hard to get a target lock on from most directions. Group 3 reporting. Reporting. And that's it for the Nexus defenses. There are a few more SAMs in the valley, but as we have no air units, these don't matter much. Group one reporting. The flashing green dot is the safe area of the stage. Any units you have past it will survive the blast. With the valley clear, grab all of your units and move them to the corner where they can begin their overland trek home. One reporting, group two reporting, group three reporting. As this is still early in the Gamma campaign, I'm going to recycle the various buildings before leaving the stage. I could have also generated cash by waiting around for 45 minutes before blowing the hatches to the silos, but I think I'll be fine. One reporting.
Also, one more comment on the game's narrative. If you're wondering how Project Commander the Mouse Master was here leading the mission, but then managed to return to Gamma for the next stage when his units couldn't, the reason will be made apparent in Gamma 6. Well, pseudo-apparent. It's never explicitly said, but I'll state it in video when we find out. Objective accomplished.